Hi, the internet. Welcome to the What Else Show. I'm your host, Robert. This is Bethany. Hi, internet. And today we've got a brand new What Else Show for you. Bethany, what else are we talking about today? Today we are doing a restaurant review. We're back out there. We're back, back in the restaurants. There. Back at it. Yes. We haven't done a restaurant review in a long time. I know. It's our, our bread and butter. No, we got we got Thai food. Where did we go? <laughs> We went to Zab Thai in Everett, Washington. And let's just start off this uh, review like we start off review. Oh, we do the history of how we've been there and whatnot. Yes. We've been there quite a couple of times. It's one of our quite a couple favorite of restaurants, would you say? One of our favorites. Yeah. Absolutely. Go there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And we've been ordering delivery from there throughout the pandemic yeah yeah so um let's not talk about the pandemic everybody's tired of hearing it's over it's dead no yeah we're not gonna talk about that because we actually went there (laughs) yeah in person in real life in real life people um real life let's go ahead and talk about the exterior uh the exterior the outside is pretty plain it is pretty plain um it's in like a like a strip mall type of thing so when you see it on the outside it just looks um very basic very very plain yeah it's not a great parking lot i think it's because of the area that it's in and there's like a lot of bus stops there and like a lot of yeah, yeah. and like you it's not, have, a, it's not a great area sucks. exterior is not great <laughs> exterior is not great let's get into the interior the interior so the exterior is very misleading because it's super plain and super basic but when you walk in uh, it's it's very relaxing they have a fountain right by the door it's a fairly large fountain um, sometimes people sit would sit there when they were like waiting for their um, you know their table or whatever um, it's very relaxing uh, they also have very um, like non-intrusive music playing okay mm-hmm. they've got these big murals on the uh, on the wall up high mm-hmm. uh, the building the interior itself is actually a lot higher than you think it would be yes yeah. yes real, real high, real high ce- ceilings, ceilings and yeah. yeah they've got a nice interior i really i think that's one of the high points of this restaurant yes yes, the yes. Interior. It's, it's lovely the atmosphere yeah and it is casual very casual yes it's, i've actually it's, never been there at night i've only gone there for lunch i think yeah <laughs> no we've been there at night before I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Because they had the candles lit. And sure. Yeah. So at night, you know, the atmosphere changes a little bit, a little more, you know, romantic, a little bit more intimate. But yes, beautiful interior. All right. Yes. Now let's talk about the menu. The menu. They have a pretty extensive menu. Menu's big. Too big yeah. for my liking. Big menu. Yeah. When um, you're getting into like numbers in the 60s. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Menu's too big. I mean, it would numbered and which gives a lot of options, but I like some. Yeah. I like places that specialize in something. You know. Yeah. Yeah. They. Yeah. The menu is. Menu's too big. Really big. Yeah. Also, I get decision paralysis when there's too many. Yes, options. and then we end up ordering like all the same stuff over and over because we know that that's what we like. So, um. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so this time we tried some new stuff. <laughs> uh, we can talk about drinks. They serve beer and wine there. I did not get either of those. I got a Thai tea. Mm-hmm. If you never had a Thai tea, it's like a really sweet tea, milky tea drink. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. what a Thai tea is. It's really good. It's really it's sweet. Really good. Yeah. They also have a Thai coffee. Um, I tasted each of them and really good (laughs) uh appetizers so appetizers uh we ordered the chicken satay which is kind of our go-to it's kind kind of of a standard for a thai restaurant right yeah that satay right and then we got this chiang mai spice sausage sure um so those were the two appetizers that we got uh the chicken satay was really good um it's just chicken it was fine it's just skewer. it's just grilled chicken on a skewer yeah, some yeah, peanut good. sauce that's good um do you want to talk about the sausage yeah why don't you give me your opinion on the sausage the sausage was very interesting it's it weird. had and <laughs> it had an interesting texture 
Um, and very interesting intermingling of flavors of ginger and cilantro. Yeah. Um, it was not as like, I don't know, like, I don't know how to describe it. Like not meaty tasting. Right. I mean, first of all, it doesn't look very good. No, right. they, no, it was a little, yeah. Okay. This doesn't, it's a little gross looking. Yeah. And then it tastes interesting, but yeah, it's not a real meaty sausage flavor. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a other, like a plant sausage yeah, flavor. Yeah, that's, yes, exactly. It tastes like it's a plant-based kind of sausage. It has yeah. that kind of odd mealy texture. Yeah. But, uh, after I got over the interestingness of it and how gross it looked, um, <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. It was pretty good. It wasn't too spicy. No. Um, but yeah, I had like ginger, cilantro, and I love the, cilantro. And the ginger so. flavor really comes through. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Let's, let's get, let's get to the main, the main meat of this. The Bethany. main meat of this. Okay. So for our entrees, so I ordered the Asian duck and the crying tiger salad. Right. Can we talk about them? Yeah. Okay. I um, mean, we ordered the Asian duck to share. Yes. Yes. So the portions are like, it's, it's kind of like family style. So it's definitely like family style. Yeah. So like. they, that's true. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely, it's definitely family style. So the portions are very large and you share them among the table. So to share, I got the duck, but then like the salad, I just got just for me. Yeah. I told her to um, scoop it out onto her plate and eat it off of her plate. So she didn't look crazy, but she I didn't. just ate it out of the bowl. <laughs> Yeah. Like a cave person. Um, so we That's always we always get some form of the duck. There's Asian duck, and then I think there's like two other duck dishes that they have. The duck is really good. The duck is outstanding. You really cannot go wrong ordering their duck. It's kind it of is, expensive. It's kind of expensive, but it is so good. Yes. Um, the salad I ordered, it was just like a steak salad. Uh, I ordered it medium since I was the only one that was that was eating it. You know, I didn't care like how spicy it was. So I got it medium and it was really spicy. Like I, I love spicy food, but it did not taste like medium spicy. It was very spicy, but it was a good salad. Then I'll talk about what I ordered. Uh, I ordered the Guai Tui Lord, whatever that is. <laughs> uh, We're not sure how to pronounce that. And that's like a noodle <laughs> dish, and it's got um, it with like giant noodles that doesn't don't make sense, and with chicken and shrimp, like ground chicken and cut up shrimp in a sauce. Um, it was okay. I don't think I would ever order it again. Mm-hmm. It's kind of kind of a unnecessarily sweet sauce, mm-hmm. um, but it was. It was fine. I, I wouldn't order it again. And I also got the chicken lime light, which I did not like. Um, it was just... None of us liked it. It was just chicken was on a was bed it? of spinach. And it tasted like it had like a lime mayonnaise sauce over it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I was not I was not impressed with that. I did not care for that. Yeah, I thought maybe I did try um, a little bit of it, and I thought maybe it was like a yogurt sauce, but no, it it did not it taste like mayonnaise. Yeah, it it was not good. So we will not be ordering either of those. Uh, overall, I, I usually forget. like the food at this restaurant, but mm-hmm. I think I just missed with my orders, and that's the problem with having such a big menu. Such a big menu. Is yeah. That, you try new things and you don't like them and it keeps you from trying other new things. Yeah, because yeah. now we're a little gun shy from from yeah. wavering from what we just always order. Order the stuff I usually order. Yeah, because... Get some Tom Zab soup, which yep, is super good. The Tom Zab soup, um, the crispy beef, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, you want to talk about the service? Uh, yes, we'll talk about the service. Um, the service was okay. I thought it was good. I don't know. I thought it was fine. Yeah. yeah service is fine service is fine nothing to report yeah definitely <laughs> definitely not bad like right. it was yeah. good service yeah 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 but we never needed anything or yeah we were we were always uh in good shape i was never like man where are they i need another water or whatever <laughs> yeah okay yeah let's talk about the bill the bill um pretty pricey place um, especially if you order the duck, the duck is probably one of the most expensive dishes there that you can order. Um, but honestly, our, I guess with our, our current meal choices, um, 
you know, it was a little, a little disappointing, maybe not worth it. Yeah, with our current meal like choices, but I think yeah. the price in general is good because we've got, we ordered four entrees mm-hmm. and two appetizers, two beverages, and two, three beverages. Oh yeah, three beverages, but two beverages were like specialty, right. house special beverages. So, right. yeah. So, and it was like a hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not terribly expensive. Yeah. I would say the price is moderate. Yeah, I feel And if like I would have liked the food better, it would have been fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> would have been perfect. I mean, we'll probably just go back to ordering what we always order. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I I I feel like it was worth it, um mm-hmm. especially being able to like go to a restaurant again and and it be was served yes and, and be table. served and f- it felt very relaxing and it the was atmosphere very relaxing. is very very nice very nice i think a little bit of that cost goes towards the atmosphere of the restaurant yes um good upkeep i mean i just and the booths are huge yeah they have real they have long booths. <laughs> huge tables so it'd be good which for is like, like awesome <laughs> a party of six or eight yeah put you all in a booth easily yeah yeah Yeah. um so yeah it was really it was a great experience yeah definitely yeah Mm -hmm. and i'll definitely go back yeah so should we give it this uh restaurant a rating yes all right okay robert let's rate it i'm gonna go first okay because i have a special caveat to this rating okay now usually i would give this restaurant a five Yes. Because I like this restaurant. Yes. Zab Thai. We love this place. In Everett. We love this place. But there based lot. on my last experience, the food, I did not care for it. Mm-hmm. I tried to get out there and order some different things off the menu. Mm-hmm. And to my detriment, I did not enjoy it. Mm-hmm. If I were to base my rating on this visit alone, I'd probably be getting a three. Right. Right. But since I have been there before and I have had other things on the menu... Um, and usually I would give this restaurant a five. Yes. But today, yes. today in this review, I've been giving this restaurant a four. You know, I can't give it a five because of, you know, inconsistency mm-hmm. drops it down. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I had a, a three, a, a three rating visit this time, but I usually have a five rating visit. So I'm right. bringing it in the middle to a four. And we tried to be adventurous and try try some new things on the menu what a mistake what (laughs) you know it just like you said inconsistent i never try anything i was expecting you know this the same level of you know deliciousness that we usually get and it was really disappointing Mm -hmm. yeah so i agree i'm going to give it a four with a recommendation definitely go um great place but yeah i gotta give our specific visit a four Would normally be a five because, you know, we usually order the same, all the same foods all the time. Um, So, yeah, I'm going to give it a four with a recommendation. Did you say with a recommendation? Yeah, uh, I can't give a four without a recommendation. Oh, yeah, that's true. (laughs) I am going to recommend some some dishes, though. I would say go ahead and get the Asian duck. Asian duck. And the uh, Tom Zab soup. Yes. Those are two two big recommendations. Anyways, let's not get into it. (laughs) Um, so th- that's it that's a, that's the show that's our first first restaurant review back yes we're back, with we're, back. we're back yay yeah yeah so all right i'm gonna be trying to look for restaurants that bethany can eat something from yes. i want to really try this grilled cheese sandwich place and bethany's like ugh. <laughs> You know, they're there. You know, I haven't checked it out. Maybe there's something there. There's not. There's not. Do they have salad? No. Do they have diet soda? They have grilled cheese. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. I guess I should take us out instead of yelling at you on camera. (laughs) (laughs) Take us out, Robert. Take us out. Uh, Thanks for watching Internet. You can follow the show on Twitter at What Else Show. We're also on Instagram at The What Else Show. Please like, subscribe, and share on YouTube. And that's it. Bye, Internet. Bye, Internet. Thanks for watching and... (laughs)